So welcome back everyone, Mike here. We got a little bit more snow last night and I need to get things cleaned up because I have a big truck coming here tomorrow. Yesterday I had the driveway where you could see some stones popping up through, but we got maybe another two inches of snow. Plus we have some hard pack on there right now. So I'm going to try to plow this again here and uh, get a little bit more off of it. And hopefully we can get that truck up here in the morning. All right, it's coming. I got a little bit more to do here, but uh, boy, this is good and hard right here. There's actually a lot of ice underneath, but at least it's solid. I'll get the rest of this cleaned up. And what I'm doing here is I have a uh, log truck coming tomorrow, bringing a load of firewood poles. So I wanted to make sure he can get down here, get turned around, get unloaded, and get back up to the house and on the road. Going up to the house, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, plus he can get a little bit of run at it down here. But I'm going to have to get them turned around down here. And I think we'll unload those poles right in here. It's not exactly where I wanted them, but it's kind of my only choice. Uh, but this is why I need more room down here. I've been clearing this area down in here. But until the weather gets a little bit better, that's on hold as well. But I just noticed something. This pile here, this is my burn pit. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's smoke coming out of there. It's still hot down on the bottom. 
last time I had this going was, uh, I think, three days ago. Once I get this cleaned up, I think I'll bring the excavator down here and tuck this all down in there, try to get this stuff burn up. But I've got some other stuff in, you know, around here to go in that pile as well. So the load of firewood poles will be coming from uh, Adler Tree Service. If you remember a week or two back, I had a video. Uh, Chris Adler was over here, and we had a video. We were playing with some chainsaws and doing some different things. But he's a great guy. So I reached out to him. He said, yeah, they definitely have some firewood poles. So I'm going to buy at least one load off of them, maybe two. But anyway, I'm going to clean up the rest of this and then uh, go get the excavator, see if we can't get that fire going again. stuff out of here the smoke's coming from here on the left side of the pile somewhere down in there is where the smoke's coming from so let's pull some of this out of here it's amazing though three days it's been like this oh there we go we'll just do that Well, punk's 
Tawny Phil the rodent says there will be six more weeks of winter which I think we all probably pretty much already knew that I don't know next week it's going to be really cold and a lot of people always ask me why I talk about the weather so much uh, Melissa is one of those people but it literally affects every single thing I do my real job uh, the weather is always a concern matter of fact right now we're trying to build two new well pads and it's a really tough time of year to do that moving dirt when it's cold like this isn't bad at all it keeps things from being sloppy but we do that uh, cement stabilization I mentioned that in a video before it's like you take a big rototiller basically grind up the soil mix cement and water with it and you really can solidify soft ground because for those well pads you know you have this big huge heavy incredibly heavy equipment so we need to build good roads and well pads and you can't cement stabilize when it gets too cold uh, it's just kind of a waste of money so we're trying to kind of figure all that stuff out and here at home everything we do you know we do stuff outside and the weather affects everything that we do even inside the building right now I was hoping to uh, do the plumbing this weekend but I mean it is super cold right now the grounds frozen solid we'll see what happens but Punxsutawney Phil says six more weeks I tend to agree with them uh, but I kind of like the idea of it getting real cold for a little bit uh, that way the way I see it it's gonna get real cold for the next couple weeks and then we'll be pretty close to March things will start warming up and uh, we'll be ready for spring and I am definitely definitely ready for spring uh, warmer temperatures, drier weather, uh, can't wait. I remember last year at this time, no, actually it was in December, I said I can't wait for 2020. Boy, and I, I wish I would have known then what I know now. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have been excited, but uh, I am looking forward to spring and summer this year. We have a lot to do around here, and uh, it'll be all good. But anyway, the uh, burn pit starting to smolder a little bit more. Uh, hopefully it'll take off you'll know in the next video if it does or not and also in the next video you will know if uh, I got a nice load of Pennsylvania hardwoods here or a stuck log truck one of the two we'll find out but before I wrap this video up I want to give a shout out to another channel that I've been watching for a while uh, another Pennsylvania guy and I met him a long time ago at the Paul Bunyan show maybe three years ago we just talked for a few minutes but he goes by nuts 319 and I'll put a link to one of his videos up above here if you want to check his channel out. And I'll tell you right now, he's, uh, he's a logger. He's a professional. You know, I'm a weekend warrior, but he does a fantastic job. And he's, some, uh, he's good with a chainsaw. He's really good. Good guy. Another guy from Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't know if he's quite a Yinzer or not, though. Yinzers are more around the Pittsburgh area. Nah, he probably is. He probably says Yins and Jag and stuff like that. So, uh... But check him out, Nuts319. Tell him we said hi. And uh, check out some of his videos. If you like him, subscribe and stick around. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but I was just watching one of his videos the other day. Fantastic with the chainsaw and lots of cutting of uh, beautiful Pennsylvania hardwoods. But anyway, I think it's about it. Oh, one more thing. We're going to be out of mugs very soon. Uh, we got 144 of them last week, I guess. And we probably have about 30 left if that so if you're interested in a mug check out our website below let me know in the comments what the weather's doing in your part of the world but uh, winter is here for six more weeks so like I always say if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks